Hey y'all, Brandon Renus here. Hope you're doing absolutely amazing. So today I want to talk about Facebook and how they are trying to censor slash control their page in order to protect people from fake news. Now let me start off by saying that TYT is a huge fan of this, the young turds, I mean the young Turks. They're a huge fan of this and also Facebook obviously is promoting this whole idea because they want to protect us from fake news. Before I get into this, I'm going to start it off by saying I do not agree with it, I do not support it, but I do support Facebook in doing whatever they want with their own platform. This is their platform, I believe in private business doing whatever they want with their own programs or their own platforms, whatever it would be. And although I may not agree with the decision, I am not going to ask the government to forcefully make them promote free speech, which is what I would support, or something of this kind. Now, according to Facebook, and I was looking this up, you are now going to have the opportunity to block things, which you can already do, or say that this is untrue news or fake news. And then it goes to a third party, and the third party then decides whether it is fake news or not. Then before you can actually send the information again, or let's say you want to copy and paste the link onto your own page. Before you can do that, as soon as you do, you click, you know, copy and paste or uh, post on my page, it brings up a little uh, alert bar or something. Hey, this has been marked as not accurate news or not that credible of information, blah, 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 blah. Are you sure you want to post this on your page? And so here's my issue with this. And I, I, first of all, let's, let's go with my own experience with Facebook. If you've listened to my videos, you will have noticed, hopefully, that I do not swear, I do not use crude language, I do not yell or scream at people, things of this kind. Now, I debate on Facebook and YouTube pretty much every day of the week, especially if you average it out, it's a lot. I have been banned on Facebook multiple times. I have never called a person any crude name. I mean, I don't even think I've ever called someone stupid. Like, that's, I, I do not use any crude language, I do not use any racist language. And yet I have been banned from Facebook multiple times for disagreeing with people. Literally, that is my crime. Disagreeing with people. Now, where I come from, Facebook doesn't need to try to control the airwaves even more. They need to try to control the people who are blocking or they need to control themselves from blocking people like myself. How dare I have a different opinion than what other people believe in? Now, it's interesting. I would say I debate and I, I argue against Republicans about one-third of the time, and two-thirds of the time I debate and argue with Democrats. Now it's also interesting that Democrats, hands down by far, block you the most and report you the most. Republicans do not, which is interesting. And Facebook seems to care about the Democrats who block you or report you, but the Republicans, well I've never been banned from a Republican page, I shouldn't say banned, but I've never been uh, kicked off of Facebook for a Republican page, but me having a polite, respectful discussion on a Democrat page, actually disagreeing with them, pointing out, hey, let's get rid of emotion and let's just talk about facts. Okay, I know you like him, I know you like him because he has a D in front of his name, but now let's get past that and look at the facts of what the person says and supports. For example, the most recent page I got kicked off of, which happened today, and I'm not gonna name their name, they kicked me off their page and my crime was that I agreed with them. This is pretty much word for word my quote. I said, yes, I agree with you that George W. Bush was a destroyer of our Constitution and he failed miserably. But if, you're, if we're gonna point out the flaws in George W. Bush, we should also point out the flaws in our own candidate because it was a Democrat page. I pointed out that Obama destroyed the Constitution. He also destroyed the Constitution, very similar to George W. Bush in the aspect of supporting Guantanamo Bay, in the aspect of allowing our government to detain citizens indefinitely without due process, and he signed the bill into law himself. That got me blocked from the Democrat page. Okay, cool. Now, if that person had a bad day, they could have said, hey, Brandon is giving fake news or false news, which would have been completely inaccurate. And depending on the person, the third party's information, they might have chosen, hey, that is inaccurate news. Now, we need to remember, major media all said that we needed to go into Iraq because there were weapons of mass destruction. 
This is the same major media that in 2008 was bragging about how great the economy was. In fact, they would have economists come onto their pages, come onto their TV shows, come onto the media, and they'd be like, yo, dude, do you believe that the economy's uh, doing great? And they'd be like, no, it's not doing great. We're heading towards a recession. And they would laugh at them. They would have these guys on their shows so they could laugh at them. That's how confident they were. Do you think that would be flagged as fake news? I don't, no. I don't think that's gonna be flagged as fake news. How about this? You know, a lot of people, the popular opinion, you go to WikiLeaks or someplace like that, the popular opinion is that FDR was a phenomenal prison that helped us out of the Great Recession, or Great Depression, I should say. Now, that is a great emotional argument, it's what we teach in school, but it's 100% factually inaccurate. It cannot be proven. In fact, if you look at it, you find out that it's quite the opposite. In fact, he is the reason for the Great Depression. He is the reason the Great Depression lasted so long. So if I made a comment that is factual, that I can back up in facts, we can look at the statistic, we can look at the rules, we can look at the regulations that he created, we can look at how he burned crops down, we can look at how he killed pigs to make the prices become more expensive, to hurt the poor, to hurt the middle class, we can actually look at facts. But because that's not the popular opinion, does that mean it's going to be banned as fake news? You see, where I come from, Facebook, or anyone else listening, and TYT, actually, you guys are really good at this, the young turds. You guys really love just everybody living in your bubble. This whole little idea of, oh, we all get along so great. We're not going to really talk to too many outsiders. We're going to talk about the outsiders, but we're not going to actually engage with other people. When they ask us a question, something critical, whoa, 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 we're going to move to the next topic. See, people like me, we actually spend our time in debate. We, we live in it. I despise fake news. I despise it on the left, TYT. I despise it on the right, Infowars. But the reality is that I believe that people are smart enough to make their own decisions. And I believe that if you believe in promoting truth, let people promote fake news. You can promote fake news all, the, all you want. You can look at all the social justice warriors. They've been out there promoting these BS for months and years and years and years. And guess what? They gained momentum, and as they gained momentum, their voices got heard more and more and more. And as their voices got heard more and more and more, the facts came out, and everybody started to recognize, these guys are nuts. They're racist towards whites. They're racist towards guys. They're sexist towards men. And people started going, you know what? This isn't for me. They didn't need somebody to tell them, hey, that's fake news. Hey, it gained momentum. I was against it. I support them. Free speech. I know TYT, you're afraid to say, Milo, you're not no, police. No, 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 no. We can't talk about Milo Yiannopoulos. No, no, no. Let's not talk about him. We won't name his name. If you're afraid to name somebody's name, it's because you're worried that people might go to that person and actually learn truth. What is there to be afraid of? If you actually care about truth, if you actually promote truth, let people listen to a nutcase. If he's completely crazy, they're going to go to him and go, holy cow, I'm so happy I got to listen to that guy. That guy's crazy. When I want to listen to something absurd, I go listen to InfoWars. Oh, yeah, the frogs are all turning gay because they hopped in the water all because of the government. And the chemtrails are ruining everybody's lives and we're all going to die in the next week. Obama is from four different countries. He was born from an alien mom and a reptile dad, and it's a good thing we have Pizzagate. That's an actual fact. Woo-hoo! Yes, there's not cases out there that support them. Good for them. More power to them. Same thing that support TYT. Oh, yeah. Global warming's gonna take over the whole entire world. Oh, shoot, it's not warming right now, but it, it is going to. Now, we're not going to talk about the facts because the facts contradict what we're talking about, but FDR was the greatest president in the world. Well, we're not going to talk about the facts again. So, you know what? We're going to talk about our feelings. How do you feel about this situation? Because we don't, no, 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 no facts, no facts. Just tell me your feelings. Yes, yes, I'm TYT, and we feel like this election is not a very good thing. In fact, this is TYT. We really, we really want to be proud of how Hillary Clinton, she gained more votes than Donald Trump, so she should be president. And we don't like Hillary Clinton. In fact, we don't like big corporate people who, you know, are in bed with Wall Street, are in bed with the big banks, are warmongers, but we're still going to vote for her because, well, she's all of those things. And we're TYT. We proudly stand up for what we believe in, but we just don't know what we believe in.
Okay, there's crap on both sides. There's people that are gonna think I'm wrong and they, that's fine. I want that, I want to promote dialogue. Let's stop trying to control, trying to police, trying to micromanage everyone. Promote fake news, support it. If people are actually out there spamming their page with fake news, whether it's right or left, go on that page and bring up facts. You don't need Facebook to censor it. If this, the people who actually care about truth are gonna go and look at that fake news story, they're gonna look at your comment that has the facts and they're gonna go, huh, that doesn't make sense. No wonder when somebody posts the, the fake news about Obama. Oh, Obama's such a great president. He created all of these jobs. He's fixed the economy. It's all great. That's not going to be fake news, right? No, that, that's real news. But then if you actually go over the facts. Oh, well, workforce participation rate is at an all-time low. No, 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 no. Let's not talk about that. That's Brandon. Brandon, you should put that in fake news because we got to keep Obama looking good. We're not going to talk about the record amount on food stamps. No, 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 no. 50-year housing lows, people owning houses. 50-year lows. No, 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 no. You know what we're going to talk about? We're going to talk about how great the economy is. Look at how many cars were bought. Woohoo! Yeah. We're not going to mention that it was cash for clunkers and it was a government program that helped boost the car sales. No, we're not going to talk about that at all. No, 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 no. Look at all the people on affordable care. Yeah, they're so great. Now, we won't talk about how if they don't get on the care... They get fined. Yeah, but don't worry about it. It's really a good thing. We're helping a lot of people. It's so good that if they don't get on it, we find them. If they don't pay the fine, they go to prison. That's how great it is. Woohoo! TYT, we're so good. Real, actual, factual news. Woo! I'm so happy Facebook is censoring our competition that might bring up facts. Now, I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know if Facebook is actually genuinely going to pursue truth and facts. Do you actually think that's going to happen? I don't. There's no way. Everybody's definition of a fact is different. That example I gave, you can actually go, and the perfect example would be that Obamacare, or I'm sorry, not Obamacare, the Ob Obama economy. You can look at facts, and you can get two different results. Obama created all of these jobs, okay? That is a fact. Workforce participation rate all-time low since men, or I'm sorry, since women were included in the workforce. So those are two different facts, and they tell two drastically different stories. Which one is going to be fact, and which one is going to be fiction, or fake news? Obama, Affordable Care Act, multiple people. It's such a good thing. It helped put record amount of people on health insurance. Okay, that's a fact. The, also, the other fact is that they're not willingly taking that. They're being forced into that. So is it really a fact that it's a good thing to have people on health insurance when they're forced into it? You know, is it, it's kind of like, hey, you know, I'm going to put a gun to your head and it's really a good thing you cleaned that car because I had a gun to your head. Look at how great of a person he is. He cleaned that car. Really? See, fact and fiction or fake news can be very different according to a person's perspective. So all it takes is you pick the wrong third party that says, well, Brandon, we don't like his perspective of real news. We like Obama, so that's going to be fake news. I take pride in being factual. But that doesn't mean that Facebook can't block me or ban me or anything else. And I don't support this even, let's say, let's say, let's say Facebook completely is conservative. Let's say they are hardcore uh, info war type conservative. I guess you couldn't even call that conservative. Call them nutcases. Whatever you want to call them. Okay? Info war nutcases. Yeah, that's Facebook. They, they're willing to block or not block, but they're willing to say that's fake news anytime it's left. See, I don't support that either. I want people to make their own educated decisions. And when they make a decision, they can look at a post on their own page and they can say, hey, I don't want to follow that, or I do want to follow that, or I want to investigate that. I want to look at the comments and see if there's things that make sense to me or contradict what the post is showing. And finally, you don't need Facebook to block you from a, a stream. Let's say they're posting fake news every five minutes, which are pages I follow, by the way. In fact, the vast majority of the pages I follow would be considered fake news. <laughs> well, actually, they probably won't be because they're on the left. <laughs> but I, I consider them fake news because they are on the left, and I debunk them all the time. That's what I follow. But anyway, let's, let's, let's pretend. Let's say you have a page. You can block the page. You don't need Facebook to create any extra thing. You can just say, hey, 
I'm done following that, <coughs> block. Or unfollow, unfriend. What else do you need to do? If you don't wanna be surrounding yourself with that, that's all you have to do. Facebook doesn't need to do anything new. To me, this is Facebook saying, you are too stupid to think on your, your own. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna help mold the information to go into your head to be what we call real news. And because we don't want you to have fake news that might disagree with us, we're gonna control it this way. I personally believe that you are smart enough to think on your own and to make your own decisions. That's all I've got. If you guys want more videos like this, please hit subscribe. If you love it, please give me a thumbs up. If you hate it, give me a thumbs down. Tell me why, I truly appreciate it. If you hit subscribe, please hit the notification button. The way, fa or, uh, the way YouTube is set up now, it's really hard to get all the new updated videos unless you are subscribed and you click the notify button. Just the new algorithm that YouTube is promoting. That's all I've got. Peace out, have a wonderful day, guys.